If you're new to using thrust vector control in a model rocket, I have six tips and tricks that might help you get started with your first flights. Tip number one, don't use a launch rod, use a launch rail. The difference between a launch rod and a launch rail is that a rocket cannot roll around the rail, however it can roll around the rod. We want to minimize roll in the Signal R2 system because Signal doesn't control roll, it's just pitch and yaw. So to minimize this, make sure you use a launch rail if you're going to use one at all. As a side note, I won't be launching Electron off of a launch rail. I'll be using my custom launch pad, which doesn't have a rail or a rod. You can build your own launch pad if you'd like, but launching from a rail is super safe, and generally speaking, almost every local club has at least a few. Tip number two is to always check your batteries before flight. You can do this through the sensors section on the Signal R2 app. Right at the bottom here, it says system voltage, and mine right now is 8.88 volts. This is fine, and this is ready to fly. If your battery voltage drops below 7.5 or maybe 7.7, it's a really good idea to charge your batteries again. If the battery voltage ever goes below 7 volts, your system is at risk of shutting down in flight. 7 volts is where the voltage regulator drops out on signal and your computer may shut down. Tip number three is to fly in low wind. This is pretty similar to most regular model rockets. You don't want to fly in really high wind because your rocket could get blown out of control. Especially for fin model rockets is because they could turn into the wind. This won't happen with your thrust vector control system, but it will drift horizontally, so you do want to minimize that. Tip number four, don't launch your rocket more than 30 degrees from vertical. This one has to do mostly with the NAR Model Rocket Safety Code, or MRSC. The safety code states that you shouldn't launch more than 30 degrees from vertical, and it's a good idea to just adhere to that generally. The Signal R2 system is intended for low thrust to weight ratios. As your rocket tips over, it has less thrust to fight gravity, which is always pointing down. As you launch the rocket at a steeper and steeper angle, eventually it'll hit a point where it can no longer fight gravity, and instead of leaving the rail and going up, it'll leave the rail go sideways and then come back down. Tip number five is to check the thrust vector control system before every flight. I'll demonstrate this now, and what you want to do is move the thrust vector control mount back and forth on each axis. So I'm going to move it back and forth on this one, and then this one, and both of these look good. This has plenty of room to move. So this is a good test. And then what you also want to do is just watch the TVC mount during startup. We covered this before, but let's do it again. So the flight computer is facing upward with the signal text facing this way, which means that during startup the mount should go this way, to the top left or to your top right corner. So I'm going to put it down here and we'll, we'll start it up and see how it goes. So here we go. And there it is, that's the top right corner. So that's what you want to check for before every flight, and it's just a good idea to keep an eye on where those are. If your TVC cables ever get mixed up or jammed, these are two tests that are going to help you figure that out. And finally, tip number six is to always keep a close eye on the thrust vectoring mount. Sometimes after a hard landing, the TVC mount can get out of alignment just by a degree or two. You might want to perform another one of those tests with the long motor tube out the back of the rocket to make sure your alignment is still good. So those are the six tips for thrust vector controlled rockets. Now that we have those covered, we're ready to launch.